So hello guys, welcome to the reinforcement learning series. Today we are going to study about markup process. So before proceeding, we will get to know about two very important terms that is transition and transition probability. So suppose this is a maze. So, if, and this is an agent. So moving from uh, this state to this state, so basically moving from one state to another is called transition. That is called transition and uh, the probability that an agent will move from one state to another is called transition probability so in case if it goes so suppose if there is an 80 percent chance from going from this state to there and 20 percent chance it will go down so that is a transition probability and the very important thing before understanding markov process is to understand what is markov property so basically markov property states that future is independent of past given the present so mathematically this is represented as suppose this is and i'll explain this mathematical term So basically, here ST denotes, this ST denotes the current state of the agent which is this and ST plus denotes the next state. If it goes here then this is the ST plus 1, If in case if it goes here this is ST plus 1. And uh, what this equation means is that transition from ST to ST plus is entirely independent of the past. So in as it like uh, goes from here to here. It does not depend upon where it came from to this state. It totally, if it goes here, right, it totally depends on the current state, which is this one, that is ST. I must write it over here, ST. Uh, this one is the ST plus one. So the right hand side of the equation means the same as the left hand side of the system, having a Markov property intuitively meaning that our current state already captures the information of the past state so it doesn't struggle to gather that separately and what is the state transition probability as we know about state transition probability we can define the probability as for for a for a mark of state from st to st plus one that is any other successor state uh, the state trans uh, transition probability is given like this was our Markov property and a state transition probability is basically and basically here st plus one is s dash means the future state and the st is the current state as it is very clear and we can formulate this uh, state transition probability into a state transition probability matrix we can understand in this specific way p1 1 p12 p1 and p21 and p22 and so on and then we goes to pn1 pn2 and pnn so that is how it is and each row in the matrix represents the probability from moving from our original state or starting state to any successor state so sum of each row is equal to one and so ultimately on realizing all that a random process with a markov property is called a markov process that is very simple and clear that is a sequence of random state s1 s2 or to sn with a markov property that is called a markov process so basically the it is a sequence of states with markov property and as our system uh, model complies with markov property you can capture transition probability just like we did with the transition matrix which is a square uh, metric of size n into n where n is the number of states in our model and every cell in a row i and a call of j in the metric contains the probability of system 
transition from state I to J from here to here okay and we can understand it more clearly by taking one example so let's start okay so let's take an example about uh, a sunny rainy weather okay and uh, the transition metric could be like uh, say a sunny day and the rainy day then again sunny and then rainy so if today is a sunny day there is a much probability that tomorrow also going to be sunny day so it is much like 80 percent but if today is sunny it will less probability that to, tomorrow is going to a rainy day so 20 percent chance and if today is rainy there is a uh, very less chance tomorrow going to be a sunny day so 10 percent and to, if today is rainy day and then there is much like possibility tomorrow also going to be a rainy day so 90 percent so this is our transition matrix for that Okay, and uh, we can do a useful visual representation of this also. Uh, suppose as this is a uh, this is our sun representing a sunny day. So and uh, is a rainy day. Okay, I also write it here rainy. Sunny. Okay, so as like if today is sunny, 20% chance tomorrow is going to be rainy, and 80% chance tomorrow is also going to be sunny. But if today is rainy, 90% chance today also, tomorrow also rainy, and 10% chance that tomorrow is going to be sunny. So this kind of representation is widely used in finite state machine transition which is we also studied in automata theory like representing in this specific way okay and we will we are going to understand it with a little more complicated example okay so let's begin. So you can consider this model where uh, this office worker okay uh, and his routine is like uh, going to office then there he have a conversation with colleagues he drinks coffee in between if any feel tired work on computer and then he comes back home and you can as just like we said in the definition uh marker process is any random process following the marker property so you can consider like any scenario like any random process where this worker starts his day from home then he goes for coffee and uh, first thing as people have in their daily routine is to have a coffee so 40 percent probability for that and uh, then again he continues to drink coffee and then he chat with his colleagues and uh, then he have a coffee to make his mind active and work on the computer and then he comes back home so as we hear so here is we having the transition probability matrix from home it's like much like 60 percent from home to first thing is like coffee so 40 percent rather than chat or computer so there's less chance that a person would wake up go out from his home and chat and sit on computers okay so it is much like a real life scenario based thing and that is how it is so in layman terms what is a marker process that is a simply a random process going from one state to another following the marker property that's it thank you and share the video and please subscribe the channel thank you